He's done his time on screen, but Kevin Spacey may be facing five years in jail off screen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Actor Kevin Spacey has officially made an appearance in court over the first criminal charges brought against him. The charge stems from events from July 2016, and the complaint against Spacey states that a busboy in a Nantucket bar called Club Car told police Spacey bought him a number of alcoholic drinks, made some inappropriate remarks, and tried to get him to go back to the award-winning actor's house afterwards. Then the two of them were near the piano player in the bar and Spacey apparently reached over and began to rub the busboy's thigh, then allegedly went a bit further if you know what I'm saying. The accuser apparently sent a Snapchat video of this happening to his girlfriend, and investigators apparently matched the clothes of the person in the video to Spacey. Now today, after arriving in Nantucket by private jet, he was taken to Nantucket Town Hall to face the court, after the judge denied his request to avoid attending the hearing. Arriving, he looked relatively confident, even managing a smile for the cameras, and in the courtroom, his lawyer Alan Jackson spoke for him the entire time. The judge agreed for their request to obtain phone records from the victim, as they believe it will help Spacey's case. Though before all of this, just the other day, a couple of weeks after his Let Me Be Frank video, Spacey made a rare public appearance, wearing a custom cap saying retired in 2017, obviously making light of when his allegations first surfaced. He came out to deliver a pizza to a photographer from the Daily Mail, saying, I know you're just doing your job, he said with a smirk. Keep warm and have a happy new year. Following his pizza delivery, he drove back inside his apartment complex without a response to a nearby reporter. Since leaving sex rehab, he has apparently been lying low in his manager's Baltimore mansion. And close sources say that he's been writing, and in the meantime getting movie offers from both Europe and Russia. His colleagues have been saying that he's assumed that he'll be able to come back to US films in a few years, which is a bit forward if you ask me, but I guess what else could you expect from a man like Spacey? The most ironic part of all of this is after flying back to Washington this afternoon, Spacey was pulled over for speeding. More problems with the law was probably the last thing he wanted, but he was a bit luckier this time around and got off with a warning. Another hearing has been set for March 4th, which the judge agreed Spacey does not need to attend. However, he must be available by phone if necessary. But what do you think? Is a comeback imminent or is his house of cards going to come tumbling down behind bars? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments, but until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.